The town is now being taken by P.O. Shaw from the parade Sergeant Major Gibson. Good afternoon again to ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the passing of parade and opening of a square. I am Lieutenant Colonel Terence Williams and I am standing in as your master of ceremonies. I would like to introduce the persons forming the um, head platform here and um, first amongst them Colonel M.G. Price, the reviewing officer, who I shall say a bit about further. Lieutenant Colonel Smiley, the regimental commander. Lieutenant Colonel Ricardo Williams, the battalion CO. We are also pleased to have Father Tullo, the chairman of the school board present. And so the first salute will be taken by Lieutenant Colonel Ricardo Williams, the battalion commanding officer. St. George's College is in the 2nd Battalion of the Southern Regiment, Eastern Regiment of the Jamaica Command Cadet Force and the Regimental Commander is Lieutenant Colonel Osmond Smiley, who I now invite to the salute in days to take the salute. We are now going to have the general salute. All stand please. All stand please for the general salute. All stand please. And we are being joined this time by the principal, Mrs. Campbell, who will um, we'll ask her to join the inspection of the racks if she, if she can be so kind.
I want to thank you all for coming. I think it means a lot to the cadets to see their parents here and their friends and the old boys. So I welcome you all to this event. We are going to move to the presentation of awards for the this um, batch. Let's hear it for Grand J, the best cadet. For the best recruit, this award is named for Jason Alleman, a former for a former um, corporal here at the who went on to become an attorney at law and served at the DPP's office and passed away some, some years ago. That award goes to Cadet Irvin K. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm being reminded that we have two intakes of recruits, and the second winner, the second winner is Cadet Downey K. Each award winner will get an individual trophy to carry home and put on their mantelpiece. This award is named for my brother, Patrick Williams, who is a former drum major here in the 80s. The winner is Cadet Wright T. Award is the Richard Anderson Award for Best Percussionist. The Best Percussionist is Cadet Brown D. The next award, Oren and Nicholas Spence Award for Best at Drill. The award goes to Cadet Archer K. The Lieutenant Colonel Desmond Hutchinson Award for the best dressed on parade. And the best dress is Cadet Duar. There's a lot of work to get those boots shine to look nice and proper in your uniform. Award for service knowledge. And for that award, we ask our reviewing officer, Colonel Murphy Price, to make a presentation for the award in his name. The winner for the first intake is Cadet Archer K. A double winner. Winner for the second intake is Cadet Downey K. The first item was um, the principal's remarks, and I do invite again the principal, Mrs. Patrick Campbell, to come to give her remarks. Let's hear it for the principal. Mr. Master of Ceremonies, all our senior officers and officers who are with us this afternoon, 
parents, relatives, friends, students, teachers, members of staff, students, cadets. Good afternoon, everyone. The Cadet Union of St. George's College has a long, illustrious history and has produced many outstanding leaders over the years. Please allow me to highlight the late Lieutenant Colonel Gerald A. Hall, the unit's first officer commanding and former second in command of the JCCF, who served St. George's College, the St. George's College Cadet Unit, from its inception in 1942 to 1973 and remains the longest serving officer commanding. He also served during two wars and typifies for us the high expectations of a cadet. Leadership with integrity, service, discipline, and outstanding character. What a valuable asset the St. George's College unit is therefore to the school and to the nation. This year, the unit has grown tremendously to 58 in number, with two platoons including the drum corps. Recently, a young cadet stopped me on the campus to proudly tell me that he and 17 others had passed their star examinations and would soon be Lance Corporals rather than privates. I think I was prouder than he was. It is so appropriate that the Cadet Passing Out Parade is taking place during St. George's Week 2023, a time when we're celebrating the SDGC legacy of outstanding achievement under the theme, Oh, Here We Are, Sustaining a Grand Legacy. The SDGC cadets are truly a part of that grand legacy. Special thanks this afternoon to the old boys of St. George's College, past cadets themselves, for their assistance in building and strengthening the unit, but also for this beautiful square, which seemed like it wasn't there one minute and then all of a sudden, sudden was. How beautiful. I think we need to give a round of applause for that. Though it is still a work in progress, it certainly is beautiful. So thank you, our sincere thanks for that. I would also would like to highlight and thank our cadet faculty advisor, Oreen Shaw. Oreen Shaw is one of our, our uh, never say die old boys of St. George's College who serves the school community in so many different ways. I wonder how he does it. Just watching, watching him exhaust me. So I want to commend Mr. Shaw for this and for what is happening this afternoon. And so welcome once and all, uh, one and all, and congratulations, commendations to our cadets, the star of the show this afternoon. You truly are wonderful and you're making your school community proud. Please give them a round of applause. Welcome everyone. Thank you, Mrs. Campbell. And I want to thank all the old boys, Colonel Chin sees here as another representative, and you will know him for his hands-on work with you. And I would like to thank him as well. And we also have Felton Henriquez, who assisted with the drum corps here. But the, the numbers of the old boys' support is now as large as you are. We have about 60 old boys in the support. So, we are not going to abandon you. This is the start of the support of the old boys. So I thank you very much. And I now ask old boy and reviewing officer, Colonel M.G. Price, to give his remarks. Let's hear it for Colonel Price. I heed the comment of the Master of Ceremonies to indicate that I know what it feels like to be on parade in the sun at this time of day. So I will not seek to be too long. But I will remiss not to comment on what I saw on parade today. I was quite impressed. Having served in the cadet force for quite some years. And right here, as mentioned before, as the Sergeant Major at St. George's College Cadet Unit. I remember when we had some great glory days. So when I heard that the unit had fallen 
on tough times and steps would be taken to get the unit back on its feet, I was very pleased to be a part of such an arrangement. It is because of these things, it is because I went through these challenges as a cadet that I was able to join the Jamaica Defense Force and be successful in the organization. What I see today is an indication that St. George's College Kelly Unit is on its way back. I thank the old boys, I thank the school community, I thank the parents for the support that you give to the unit and the cadets specifically to ensure that the unit can go back to where it was. I would like to see in a year or two where we don't only have 20 odd cadets on parade, but we're looking to have 90. We should be looking to have many more persons joining the cadet force. And in my studies, I've done a little bit of study. One of the areas that I focus on is youth engagement as a way of ensuring that we develop the right values and attitude in our society. And the cadet force is the foremost of uniform groups that persons who enroll or enlist in turn out to be stalwarts in our society. So I look forward, I look forward to when the St. George's College Credit Unit gets to a stage where almost all the young men and women who enter into this institution would feel the need to be a part of. So, I'm happy with what I've seen so far. It, it brings back memories. <laughs> I, I, my last parade as a cadet sergeant major was right there. Right there. And I left that parade and shortly thereafter went off to Newcastle to train and then off to the Royal Military Academy Sanders. I have fond memories of this institution at Mayorum Bay Gloriam. Thank you for the invitation and I wish you all the best. Thank you very much. And we are now going to have the blessing of the square. And we're going to ask Father Tomo to come forward and do the blessing. <laughs> Let us pray as in prayer. Heavenly Father, for the wonderful world you have made for us, help us to enjoy to you. Father, we ask you to bless this Scarlet Square and for our cadet unit that will be using it. We also ask that you continue to bless and guide the young men who are part of the St. George's College cadet unit. Guide them in. Guide them by your loving hands and grant them the protection that they need. Father, we also ask your blessing on those members of the old boys who are actively involved in the restoration of the cadet unit at St. George's College who has made this Scarlet Square possible. Father, as they continue to journey with the next generation of Georgia, Father, we ask that you continue to bless, guide and strengthen them, and may your Holy Spirit continue to empower the community of St. George's College, that we continue to witness to your love, your mercy, and your care for the world. And we ask you to Christ, O Lord, I love the world with holy water, bless the square, and bless, I was told by Mr. Shaw to bless the member of the Catholic Unit. And the church say, Amen, Amen, Amen. 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 Thank you very much, Father Tolo. We so serve here for Father Tolo, the chairman of the school board. And now the voter starts from potential officer Oren Shaw. Let's hear from Mr. Shaw. Madam Principal, Mr. Board Chairman, our regiment commander, 
and commanding officer of the battalion, other senior officers, and other officers of the JCCF and JDF, friends, family, parents, and other staff members, cadets, good afternoon. It brings me great pleasure to bring this very, very short vote of thanks. But I'll get right to the chase. Over the past year, we have received tremendous support from many stakeholders. And leading the charge has been our old boys, headed by Colonel Williams and Jinsey. We are blessed as a unit to have quite an extensive training team which includes the trainers for our drum corp, Mr. Smith, Mr. Smiley, the trainers for our infantrymen, warrant officer class two, Jackson from JDM. The support given by other members of the JCCF Support from Captain Fabian White and other old boys that would have passed through to give assistance to our cadets. We are grateful for all the assistance rendered. We are grateful to the administration of our school community. Thank you for all the support that you give us. Um, I rarely hear no from Mrs. Campbell. I think by no. I understand the formula once things are happening. Um, very rarely will she say no. And as you can see, things are happening. And so we can only expect bigger and better things to come. We thank each and every person present here for coming out to our passing out parade. We know it's not easy for you to leave work and be here at three o'clock. Um, however, we appreciate all the support, um, parents, supporting team on this side. We know it means the world to the cadets to hear you cheer them on as they march past. And so, as we continue to grow our unit, we continue to seek your support. And we are confident that you will continue to give us your support. Thank you, everyone. Okay, we are now going to then have the parade advance in review order and Colonel Price will take the final salute. Parade will advance in review order. 